Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salati wa salam ashraf al-mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi ya Rasul al-Kareem ya Habib al-Azim A'udhu billahi min shaitan al-Rajim Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Ati Allah Ati Rasul ulu al-Amri minkum that Alhamdulillah by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and we took a path in which to be nothing. And alhamdulillah that Allah give us a life to see the holy Jummah of Rajab and the Jummah of Israhi wal Maraj inshaAllah that Allah dress us from that reality, bless us from that reality and the miraj of the believers in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad if we don't know the haqqaiq, we are far away from so many dressings and blessings that if people think that they're going to ask for a miraj to the presence of Allah you can understand how far away that is from any type of truth. And that's why nothing opens with that understanding. When Allah loves someone, He guides them and when He guides them, He guides them to their realities so that they can properly ask for what is necessary. This way is based on the relationship and the connection with Sayyidina Muhammad That we took a life in which nothing is important, La ilaha illallah, there's nothing but Allah and that door and that reality is through the understanding of His beloved reflection. Allah reflected all His beauty, all His might, all His, His greatness of characters upon a creation and by that creation He would be known. I was a hidden treasure, I was and still is a hidden treasure but I want to be known. So I created Muhammadun Rasulullah Within the Rasul, the Ra, Seen, Waw, there's a Lam, Allah. So within the Rasul is our journey and on that reality within the Rasul is a Allah and that's the one that Allah that's the location that Allah is describing for us. I'm not on heaven and I'm not on earth. Means this manifest, this way you want, this reality you want, I'm not in heaven and I'm not on earth. You see this huruf, this Ra, he's the Rabbani, he's the highest of the lordly lofty souls. His seen is the secret of all creation, Nur Anwar, Sirat al Asrar, the wow is that I created this reality out of wadood and love and upon his holy tongue this lisan, this lamb is my name, Allah. That I created his reality wasallam, to make Allah to be known. I was a hidden treasure, I wanted to be known, I will be known by this lisan al-haqq. Not by the false tongue and by lying tongues but by my most truthful Janab al-Haqq, his Hayyu al-Qayyum, by this holy tongue, Lisan al-Haqq, I will be known. All else is a falsehood unless it comes onto the tongue of Haqq. They all guided us Allah to this love that, I want you to have this reality then follow my ulul am. And those whom watching, those whom accompany, those whom are following the turuqs, this is Allah's ni'mat and gift and guided us to those who represent that lisan al-haqq. And they inherited from the holy sahabi, holy ahlul bayt, lisan al-siddiq. The truthful tongue is the inheritance of lisan al-haqq. As a result they inherited from that tongue and that is the way of all haqqaiqs. If we don't know the reality, we don't understand 
the whole purpose of this tafakkur and contemplation and we still get questions that is there meditation in Islam? There's no Islam outside of tafakkur. So don't get lost in Arabic words, you know. This is not a, a course in which how to become and how to turn the world into Arabs. They already had their chance. But this is a way towards realities. And when Allah described the, the language of paradise and they come and say, oh within the language of paradise is Arabic but the language of paradise has no tongue. So in these hurufs there are secrets. So what does Allah mean by the language of paradise to be Arabic? Is they understood the huruf, this Arab is Ain. The first letter of it is an Ain that they have a hidden knowledges and they have an eye that's open within their heart. Ayn al-Rabb is this ancient knowledge of Al-Alim is dressing these lordly souls. This Rabbaniyoon wa Allah asks us in Qur'an, be Rabbaniyoon, learn my book and teach my kitab. Only I'll come deeper and say, who is the book of Allah There's no printing press in heavens, they're sitting out and printing out papers for us <laughs> and then oh. Allah <laughs> distributing from the heavens down all these books and kitabs. So only Allah came and told the walking kitab of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad So Rabbaniyun what? They learned the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad direct from the source and the, the soul of Prophet They learned it and then their whole life was to teach it. Their life is not politics, their life is not, not uh, fighting with people, their light and their life is to teach what they learn from the realities of Sayyidina Muhammad Those are the true Rabbaniyoon. That is an Arab that he has ancient knowledges and that his soul is from the Arbab. And as a result they carry the languages of paradise and all the realities of paradise. What Allah want from us is to be dressed by those realities, blessed by those realities. As soon as they took a path in which to make their tafakkur and their contemplation was to open these energies and open these realities. That to keep your focus upon the shaykh, he teaches you how to meditate, contemplate, efface yourself to be nothing and sit in a place of contemplation. So all of Qur'an is tafakkur, all of Qur'an is stop and contemplate, stop and think. And if anyone doubting it, SubhanAllah the whole world is now been put into isolation, khalwat, seclusion. And then they tell you don't even isolate because like in khalwa you can't sit five people in a carpet in a room. The khalwa actually you have to go into your own rooms and you have to be with yourself for 40 days. You don't have common area to sit down and hang out and talk. You have to go into your own isolation for 40 days and deal with your own mentality and all of your own sicknesses and all of your issues. With the nazar of awliyaullah and their support you come out okay, you come out improved in understanding. Now Allah want for all of dunya. They tell you not only seclude but stay six feet away from people, <laughs> even your family members. That means uh, what they're asking is their meditation in Qur'an. Now Allah making the whole world mandatory meditation because as soon as they enter into their seclusion and seclude themselves and isolate themselves in home, most of them want to jump out a window because they're not happy with themselves and they definitely didn't want to see themselves in their space and in their home. Most people escape themselves by running out in theaters and malls and shopping centers. They run, run, run hoping to find the happiness that, that lives somewhere else, not where they are. But unfortunately they are the thing that they're running from. You take yourself wherever you go. Some people want to choose a new location to be happy. 
Some people want to go to a theatre to be happy but unfortunately you're packing yourself everywhere you go. It's that self that Allah wants us to focus on. That self, put it in a room, sit down, close your eyes, put some nice salawats and begin to identify who you are. What is it that you are like? What is it that you like? What is it that you dislike? How to quiet your voice, how to quiet your whispering and then begin to take an account of oneself, that I keep an account of myself, what have I done today Ya Rabbi? With all this time I have, what have I done with all my life? What, what was the purpose of my life? What have I amassed? Is it a, a, an amassing of immense good deeds? Or I've just amassed a bunch of things that are going to be an accounting to myself. And I have all these people that I've harmed and all these things that I've done wrong, means that humanity doesn't want to stop and therefore they begin to panic and go crazy. They don't want to think that there is a Creator, death is awaiting them and now to take my hisab. And those whom believe they find a relief that Allah actually slowing the game down. Everybody go and sit and meditate, contemplate and they say that Allah gave us these tools. As soon as I sit I keep the contact with my shaykh, visualize my shaykh is always present with me, his nazar is upon me and I'm playing my salawats, listening to Holy Qur'an and I begin to breathe. And I send from that light and from that blessing, take us into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to feel that light and the love and the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad And all awliyaullah their, their purpose is to take people to the threshold and the door of Sayyidina Muhammad They're not supposed to take people to themselves. They're not supposed to make it a personality cult about themselves. It's about teaching students, connect your heart with Sayyidina Muhammad Visualize yourself at Rosa Sharif and visualize yourself asking to be at the holy threshold and say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, Unzur Halana wa Ishfalana. That gaze upon me and your light intercede upon me. I'm not worthy of anything, I've done many things wrong. Keep your nazar upon me and then they teach you then keep the way of ishq. Prophet will look at you if you have good character. Prophet will look at you if you are continuously making salawats. Prophet will dress you and bless you if you are sitting at that threshold, good character, making salawats and no doubt with all your heart you believe that Sayyidina Muhammad nazar upon your soul, praying for you, reciprocating because he's the best of character. If you're doing it then you know with all your heart he must definitely be giving back what you're asking for you can't be better. If you're standing and asking and with sincerity your heart is continuously making salawats and you see yourself at that threshold then with no doubt in your heart that Sayyidina Muhammad is praying for me and increase my salawats. And then we begin to understand all these difficulties that are coming in this earth right now, it has to do with the holy breath. A sickness is now entering in to the lungs of people. And this breath, nafas al-rahmah is supposed to come in with a zikr, with a consciousness, a thankfulness to Allah Alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah that alhamdulillah that everything is praising Allah I must be praising. Shukran lillah that Allah must be thanked. Shukr for what you gave me, thank you for what you kept away from me. That breath comes in not heedless, that breath comes in energized. As they breathe then this tree of life shouldn't be under attack. But now what's attacking on this dunya is a virus that is coming like concrete onto the lungs. And those lungs are the tree of life, something is coming, something is happening. Why is it attacking the lungs? And that's for the believer to meditate and contemplate. This tree of life that Allah has given to us is the first thing that nourishes everything. 
if the breath is bad, if the action is bad, if the speech is bad, if the character is bad, then whatever comes is going to come and begin to contaminate and begin to attack. As it attacks it's going for the tree of life. It's trying to take a tree that should be blossoming green and prospering and blacken it and darken it and to kill it. And that tree when it comes with nafas ar-rahmah that breath comes into the lungs and all the capillaries that are making and forming the blood are dressed by this holy breath. So that those… that blood is being dressed and blessed, that blood is then pushed back into the heart where the heart stamps the iron. On each cell of blood there's a little microscopic iron. And that iron is what holds the energy that's running on the blood. That breath comes, the heart comes and dhikrullah, those whom are making zikr in their heart, continuously making zikr and salawat upon their heart, that energy stamps that iron, stamps that little microscopic iron that make your blood to be blue, to be red. That blood becomes stamped. When it's stamped by zikrullah it's energized, that's what they call the chi, the nazma, the energy and the qudra. The qudra doesn't stick to liquid, it's actually sticking to the iron. As a result that iron is energized and flowing through all the organs of the body, powered and energized. Energized with zikr of Allah salawat and praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad That is why the hijama was ordered for the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad The hijama and pulling out the dirty blood from the back and the points upon the shoulder was to purify and clean that blood. That that blood when it becomes dirty that metal, that iron become like rusted, the source of all infection and difficulty. That dirty blood with the old or dirty iron for us just to understand it it begins to collect upon the back. So what they have like smart buildings they understood that what you breathe on the 20th floor, the same guy on the 10th floor and the same guy on the 5th floor is breathing. The, the air just is going up and around, up and around. The physiology of the body is the same. Whatever we're doing with our blood and movement this iron is moving. Once it moves through all the essential organs the body collects it and starts to store it on the back. When that becomes dirtied and old then this is where shaitan lands upon the back of the believer. It doesn't ever land on the front because the power of the heart is too powerful. So he approaches those whom their hearts are lit and those whom believe he approaches from the back. Many people begin to feel a scratching on their back because he comes like a… like a dirty creature with claws like a bird, not even a bird because birds are holy but a creature for us to understand comes with his claws and his creatures they land upon the back and they have a big beak and from the back they push the beak into the heart and from the back the believer is attacked. So it means that when they're breathing and their practices it is their whole energy and qudra when they understood that I'm nothing, I see the nazar of my shaykh dress me, bless me and then they begin to just practice their breathing, bring in the energy of their breath, ask for that breath to become energized and purified. All the zikr that we're doing all day long is powering the blood, energizing the blood so that when this tree is coming under attack the breath that you have, the energy that you have, the zikr that you're doing is producing an overwhelming amount of energy that begin to push back something that is attacking the holy tree of the breath. Where we saw in Lord of the Rings the fire, the, they had set fire to the tree. Means that when shaitan comes his whole focus is to take insan down like a football game. He knows exactly what he's going for. He says, my whole purpose is to take your heart. You want to give your heart to Allah and I'm here to take it away from Allah. So his whole interest is to get into the heart. How is he going to get into the heart? Is through the breath. How is he going to get into the heart? Is through the liver, through these 
organs, they are like the perimeter of this castle. The whole palace and the whole throne is upon the heart. So everything else he's coming to attack to get into the heart. And now his attack and now this virus to spread it is now going for the lungs. So then this is essential for the people of zikr. Increase the zikr, increase the practices, increase the salawat, increase the breathing exercise in which you're breathing and asking, Ya Rabbi dress me from nafas al rahmah that bring this qudra of breath into my being and let me sort of purge and exhale all negativity and badness of my character. Once they understood that and their heart becomes lit and the energy of their heart becomes lit, then this energy and this qudra begin to emanate from them. From their left hand al-shafi is a healing and like a fire. When they begin to make a healing, shafi, kafi al-mu'afi, that the left hand is from shafi and all of this is under the Muhammadan reality because these are the names of Sayyidina Muhammad that you're asking for a shafi and sifat al shafi is going to come like a fire and begin to burn away every type of difficulty. The left hand burns away and creates a fire. The right hand is like a light, like a moisture or, or a jamali, a beautific light that comes and begin to put down after the fire burned away a sickness, the right hand comes to heal and draw like a a rain of rahmah upon that insan for healing. And from shafi, kafi, muafi from their forehead emits a light onto the soul of that person. So it means these are three lights in their healing from their forehead, the left hand and right hand on how to transmit their energy. So many, many benefits of the tafakkur, the contemplation, energizing, connecting with the energy, connecting with the reality, that's why they teach the whole package. If you don't know the Muhammadan reality, what's the benefit of, of the teaching? You think you're connecting directly to Allah So that's why they teach the Muhammadan reality, your connection is to Sayyidina Muhammad Then when you're making that connection you understood that reality that you're asking Prophet send the nazar, send the light, send the powers coming from your holy heart and then begin to energize that insan and their reality inshaAllah. Because most important is, is not to panic, not to fear. Whatever is, is coming of a fear is an inner reality that you, you're of course with something. And that's a time to meditate, Ya Rabbi why am I having fear? Am I really scared to meet you? I mean is that I've done something that bad? Maybe my, my love for you is not correct yet. Maybe my love for Sayyidina Muhammad is not correct yet. Then we try to increase the love by our salawats, increase the love by Allah giving us this time now to read and ed uh, educate ourselves on our soul of this reality. The website is all online, all the teaching online, all the app is ready. Read, 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 understand, study the greatness and the love and the haqqaiq of Sayyidina Muhammad and you begin to fall in love with Prophet That's why all these nasheed say, Ya Rasul Kar Kareem, why Kareem? Because they, they entered into a love, they began to seek and what began to come towards them of lights and beauties and fragrances, that's why Kareem that the immense generosity of the love of Prophet he lives, he leaves nobody empty handed but its entrance is what? The key to the presence of Prophet is sadness. For if you're happy and enjoying everything is fantastic, you're not thinking of Prophet like that. So quiqam, what was she saying? I have taken upon myself this mountain of qam, means as I lived a life of carrying burdens and sadness, all I feel is just sadness everywhere because you look to animals and you're crying. Is there anybody who can watch now and see how they treat animals? Those people who are been slaughtered on Asia, how they're cheating the animals that they eat. No mercy, no rahmat, wherever they look they're crying. How they treat animals like this? How they treat humans like this? How they treat each other like this? So life became quran where everything is just sadness and sorrow. That is the key to Prophet's presence.
Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul, it's too much, too much sadness, too many difficulties. My heart is broken, everything is, is, is falling apart and with that sadness and humility they're entering the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and filled them with such a love and such an intoxication they forgot the qam until they left and went out and then they realized it's say, oh my gosh the qam is still there. <laughs> Because for that moment you feel the immense love, the immense pleasure like our zikrs we feel, oh an ecstasy, everything's great. You go back home and real world hits you again. It lasts but a couple hours and then again the world is right back in its place. It didn't even take a break, it's just waiting for you. So that becomes our life. That is the key towards that presence and the, the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad Not to panic, don't be scared that uh, keep supplies within the home to have like a little market within your home, go buy food, go buy the necessary for your children, for yourselves. Mawlana Shaykh was teaching years, 30, 40, 50 years, we are following for 25, 30 years. From the beginning was always to have a market in the home, always have supplies in your home, have uh, first aid kits, have peroxide, have uh, disinfectants, have, batter have batteries for lights, have a, a, everything you can imagine that you would need to survive with because this is only phase one, this is not the end. This sickness is only a beginning, a war coming upon this earth that nothing will be left standing, everything will be burning. This is only step one. This step one for the preparation and people to be prepared, have food, have supplies, live a life of of understanding that your life is not, you know, drive through McDonald's and the grocery store always available to you. Keep these things and these supplies to ourselves, to our homes, to our families inshaAllah. And then we do our best. This is where faith is, is most important is that you take one step, Allah comes 99 steps towards us. We do our best to the food that we can and to the budget that people have. We leave it for Allah to make it to last. From awliyaullah teaching that Allah will send in, in times of immense difficulty will send from the unseen. These unseen will multiply and bless whatever the believers eat. They take one bite they'll make it to be full for 30 days. It's not something that is understood and what the, it's not something logical what's coming. This is going to be opening a door towards the unseen and the door towards iman and faith. Those who have Im immense faith, immense faith and love they should see miraculous events begin to open inshaAllah. We pray that Allah to dress us and bless us. Is there any question? No? Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzat. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.